Hello Pretty Cure fans. I hope you're having a great St. Patrick's Day. In celebration of this special day on March 17th, a few green-themed Pretty Cure characters will be joining us in this video. Representing the vibrant spirit of St. Patrick's Day, the cures who will be celebrating with us are Koto Hanami, Cure Felice, from Maho Tsukai Pretty Cure, Komachi Akimoto, Cure Mint, from Yes Pretty Cure 5, Onit, Cure Oasis, from Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure, Now Midorikawa, Cure March, from Smile Pretty Cure, Lala Hagaromo, Cure Milky, from Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, Ciel Kira Hoshi, Cure Parfait, from Kira Kira Pretty Cure a la Mode, and Mayu Nikolaiashiki, Cure Lillian, from Wonderful Pretty Cure. Kotoha, Komachi, Anit, Now, Lala, and Ciel were previously featured in a very short, 9 second St. Patrick's Day video by dedicated Pretty Cure fan Sarah West. In that video, she asked her friends how the Cures would celebrate the day together, mentioning that six fictional foxes would be joining the festivities as well. However, for this video, there won't be any foxes joining the Cures. But there will be some fun-filled activities for the girls to enjoy based on their personalities and traits. So, without further ado, here's how Kotoha, Komachi, Anit, Now, Lala, Ciel, and Maya would celebrate St. Patrick's Day together. Kotoha, being cheerful and fun-loving, would enjoy participating in St. Patrick's Day parades, dancing to traditional Irish music, and spreading joy through her magical abilities. She might also organize a treasure hunt with magical clues for her friends to find hidden shamrocks. Komachi, with her gentle and romantic nature, would likely enjoy writing St. Patrick's Day themed poems or stories, imagining magical adventures in the lush green landscapes of Ireland. She might also appreciate a quiet walk in nature, enjoying the beauty of spring and the blooming flowers. Having died many years prior to the events of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure, the kind and helpful Anit might make an appearance as a friendly spirit, offering guidance and support to the other girls. She could share stories of St. Patrick's Day traditions and inspire the girls to perform acts of kindness, such as visiting nursing homes or organizing a charity event. Now strong sense of justice and courage would make her enthusiastic about participating in St. Patrick's Day sports competitions, such as relay races or soccer matches. She might take the lead in organizing a sports event for her friends and encourage fair play and teamwork. Lala's serious and responsible nature could be showcased as she takes charge of organizing a St. Patrick's Day baking contest. She would create delicious green-themed desserts and encourage others to showcase their baking skills. Lala's precision and attention to detail would make her an excellent judge. In addition, Ciel's talent as a patissiere and her desire to make others happy through her sweets would be highlighted on St. Patrick's Day. She might create special St. Patrick's Day themed desserts, incorporating green colors and lucky charms. Ciel could also teach her friends how to bake and decorate their own treats. Mayu could utilize her sewing skills to create cute accessories like green shamrock brooches, hair clips, or bracelets. This activity would allow her to express her creativity and also engage in a hands-on project. Additionally, Mayu's talent in applying makeup can be put to use by experimenting with St. Patrick's Day-inspired looks. She could try incorporating shades of green and gold into her makeup, and perhaps even film tutorials or share her creations with others online. Now that we know how Kotoha, Komachi, Anit, Now, Lala, Ciel, and Maya would celebrate St. Patrick's Day individually, let's see how they come together for a grand celebration. As they gather in a beautiful meadow adorned with shamrocks and surrounded by lush green scenery, they exchange warm greetings and share their excitement for the day ahead. To kick off the celebration, Kotoha suggests a spirited dance-off, incorporating traditional Irish dance moves with their unique magical abilities. The Cures showcase their graceful and energetic steps, creating a mesmerizing performance that fills the air with joy and laughter. Next, Komachi leads the group in a storytelling session, where they take turns sharing magical tales set in the enchanting landscapes of Ireland. Their vivid imaginations transport them to a world of mythical creatures, ancient castles, and breathtaking natural wonders. As the sun reaches its peak, Anit's ethereal presence grows stronger, 
and she uses her spectral abilities to create a shimmering rainbow that arcs across the sky. The rainbow acts as a bridge to a hidden treasure trove filled with magical items and surprises. The cures embark on a thrilling treasure hunt, following enchanted clues that lead them to discover sparkling shamrocks and secret messages. Nell's competitive spirit takes center stage as she suggests friendly sports competitions to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. The cures split into teams and engage in a series of exciting races and games, showcasing their speed, agility, and teamwork. The atmosphere is filled with cheers and applause as they push their limits and inspire one another. Lala's baking contest finally arrives, and the cures gather around a long table covered in green-themed desserts. Each cure presents their meticulously crafted treats, ranging from shamrock cupcakes to mint-flavored macaroons. Lala, with her discerning palate, samples each creation and delivers her expert judgment, awarding prizes for creativity, taste, and presentation. Ciel's patisserie skills take the spotlight as she unveils a magnificent St. Patrick's Day cake. The cake is adorned with intricate sugar decorations, featuring leprechauns, four-leaf clovers, and pots of gold. The cures gather around, and Ciel teaches them the art of cake decorating, encouraging them to let their imaginations run wild and create their own mini-masterpieces. Meanwhile, Mayu sets up a crafting station where she demonstrates how to make adorable shamrock accessories. The cures eagerly join in, cutting out felt shamrocks, adding glitter and sequins, and attaching them to hair clips, brooches, and bracelets. They proudly wear their creations, showcasing their creativity and bringing a touch of St. Patrick's Day spirit wherever they go. As the day draws to a close, the cures gather for a group photo, capturing the memories they've made together. They express gratitude for the friendships they've formed and the magical moments they've shared. With hearts full of joy, they bid farewell, knowing that St. Patrick's Day has brought them even closer as a team. And that concludes our St. Patrick's Day celebration with Kotoha, Komachi, Anit, Nao, Lala, Ciel, and Mayu from the Pretty Cure franchise. I hope you enjoyed this magical journey and that it inspires you to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with your loved ones. Remember, the spirit of St. Patrick's Day lives within each of us, and it's a time to spread joy, embrace creativity, and cherish the bonds of friendship. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Pretty Cure fans!